Sunny, and as you probably know by now, I help women stop dieting and regain trust with food so eating is easy, enjoyable, and it's nourishing to their body and their mind. Before we get started on today's training, I would so appreciate if you would just give me a thumbs up, maybe a heart, as this helps the Facebook algorithm, and it also helps other people to let them know about this training. Let others in our community know that I'm about to give this training or that they have the opportunity to watch this replay so no one misses out. And again, if you are watching on the replay, hashtag replay. So today's training is all about why do you quote unquote give in on a diet? You know what I'm talking about, right? I'm sure you've seen it before whether it be on social media or from a person you know, a conversation you've had, being on a diet, you know, have helped them, maybe even yourself, right? Lose the weight that they've been dying to lose. But what you might not have seen much is anyone who has been successful in living their life in the manner in which they want to live their life while staying on that diet. In other words, it's just not sustainable. And most of the time, you probably have seen others and maybe even seen it and experienced it for yourself that the weight that was lost was not able to be maintained. Again, we're talking about sustainability. Why does this happen? Diets, be them fad diets or what a diet culture likes to call lifestyle plans and such, they're very popular because they are touted to help you lose this weight fast and easy. Maybe you've even fallen prey to the detoxes that you can detox your body and lose the weight. By the way, your body actually does that for you already without needing a special detox diet or cleanse. So this has been something that keeps people very stuck in the diet world with a very strong diet mentality and focused on continuing to try to lose the weight in a way that causes their eating patterns to be just not sustainable. You know, maybe that looks for you like um, cutting out carbs or eating quote unquote low carb under the guise, well, I have diabetes, I need to eat low or no carbs. Not true. That's a whole nother conversation for another time. I am a specialist in diabetes as well. And you can eat carbs with diabetes. There's a certain way, there are certain, definitely certain, you know, things around that we can have another conversation around. Um, perhaps you've eliminated sugars. Perhaps you've only eaten at certain times of the day. I mean, there are so many things out there that you've likely tried. And the truth is, when you engage in those thought patterns and those behaviors, the minute you are around food that you've been restricting from eating, AKA it's a forbidden food for you or a sometimes food, or I'm only allowing myself that food in a special occasions, etc. You end up quote unquote giving into that food. So let's talk about the reasons why. Couple of reasons that when you follow these types of diets, they are unsustainable to keep long term. Now, I do want to differentiate when we talk about diets, that is very specifically for you to lose weight. Again, when you are on a quote unquote diet, you are cutting back on your caloric intake, you are eliminating foods or major food groups, you have a list of forbidden foods, a list of rules, do's or don'ts, right? This is what I'm talking about that is just not sustainable. I'm not talking about nutrition. Obviously, nutrition is so very important, making wholesome choices for yourself. But with a diet mentality, that makes those choices that much more difficult for you. So again, following a quote unquote diet, not sustainable. Number one, you're feeling deprived of this, of your, no, let me say it this way. You are actually depriving yourself of the amount of food slash fuel your body needs to function, right? The more you try to say, okay, here's a list of my forbidden foods. I got to keep them out of sight because out of sight, out of mind, right? The more you're going to think about that food or foods. And when you're constantly trying to push it off and you think then to yourself, well, all right, just one bite won't hurt or I've been so good so I can have this for myself, just once you're going to find yourself suddenly feeling quote unquote out of control and you just quote unquote give in. I've heard this time and time again. 
Your body knows exactly the amount of food and fuel it needs in order to function, in order to survive. It is a survival mechanism for you, right, to keep you alive. And so at some point, if you're not giving your body what it actually needs for survival and to function optimally, you're going to, you're not going to be able to live that way. Let's just put it that way. Number two, these diets are just too rigid and they remove all flexibility from your daily life. When you begin dieting, when you say, okay, this diet's going to be the one, and you start again, and you start quote unquote over, right? And you have all these excited feelings that this is the diet for me, this is what's going to help me finally lose the weight and keep it off, even though if you look at your own lived experience historically, that is just not what happens. You're probably so focused on the end result that you just don't realize the challenges it's going to cause you while you're doing this, while you're following this diet. What happens when you go on a vacation? And, you know, maybe there's no one to cook your meals for you that actually fit into the current diet you're you're following. Or um, you have a social gathering coming up, right? Maybe you're meeting friends at, at a restaurant for dinner or your friends spontaneously call you and say, hey, come on, let's go out for ice cream or whatever the case might be. You are not going to turn down every single opportunity to be social and to live your life. It's a good time, right? Because you're on a diet. You don't want to do that. If you're doing that, then I want you to go inward and give some thought. Is this really what I want? Number three, it causes so much, too much mental stress and a disconnect from being mindful to your body. So what does dieting actually do? It disconnects you from that inner wisdom. It doesn't cause a connection, it disconnects. Like I said, dieting removes all flexibility. So instead of listening to your body when it's hungry, you're going to be fixated on making sure you're eating the recommended serving size of this diet. You're going to make sure you're eating at the right time, not at the time that you feel maybe hungry, but no, it's not, I'm not allowed to eat yet. It's too early. I just ate. Like the diet mentality, the thoughts and the beliefs of diet culture are going to come in and they're going to interfere with the lived experience of your body with what your, the the body cues are actually telling you, right? Maybe you're obsessively counting calories or micros or whatever it might be. Feeling like you always have to be eating the quote unquote right way and the quote unquote right amount is going to leave you feeling burnt out. Hands up emoji if you have felt burnt out from all the dieting. Put it in the comments. I will come back and watch and look and answer those comments. Eventually, what happens is you can't keep up with it any longer. You throw in the towel, right? And there's, the truth is there's no right portion size. There's no wrong portion size. There's no, you know, your body actually knows what it needs, but because of this disconnect, you are absolutely not, you're absolutely not connecting to it. Okay. So at the end of the day, you're following a diet for some point. You're going to give in at some point. It is inevitable. That's what today's training is all about. Why do you quote unquote give in? Why do you give in? And all that's going to do is lower your self-esteem, keep you stuck with the diet mentality, feel like you need to compensate with extra dieting or exercise because you ate, quote unquote, poorly the next day, uh, the day prior, right? All right. So again, so again, I see a comment. I'm going to get to it in a moment. Um, I just want to keep my, my focus here for the sole purpose of today's mini training is why do you keep giving on a diet? So again, here are the three biggest reasons why you'll just don't keep those diets forever and they are just not sustainable long term. Number one, your body is going to be hungry. You're going to feel it and it can only go on for so long without the proper amount of fuel before you decide I just can't keep this up anymore. Number two, you're going to miss out on a lot of life's opportunities. It's going to be impossible, you may experience this already, to always be following a diet. Things come up in life that you just need to be flexible for, and dieting doesn't allow for that, right? So don't miss out on your life, ladies. Life is too short. Number three, you're going to be so focused on following a strict schedule of eating that you will absolutely lose your ability to hear and answer your body's needs that it has. Your hunger signals therefore go silent. Your fullness signals signals atrophy. Treating your body with respect means no more dieting. 
Let's see. Amy, hello, Amy. I'm so glad you've joined me. You're saying, or gain back the weight. Yes, absolutely, hands down. 95 to 97% of people who diet, you know, even though they think, oh, this is great, this is a great diet, I feel great, they don't keep the weight off. Yes, you will know the unicorns, 3 to 5% who may keep it off, but I'm guaranteeing you they are not enjoying their life. Disordered eating behaviors or exercise habits are likely happening that you may not necessarily see. Amy, Bonnie, thank you for coaching me. Life is so much better these days. Oh, Amy, I love you. You're the best. So for those of you watching this replay, Amy is a part of my Whole Body Trust Intuitive Eating Program. And that is the program I mentioned at the start of this uh, training. I help women stop dieting, regain trust with food, so eating is easy, it's enjoyable, it is nourishing to their body and their mind. If you would like to have life be so much easier, just like Amy in the comments there, just go ahead and apply to speak with me. I have a nutrition diagnostic session that I'm happy um, to speak with you through your relationship with food, your particular challenges, and then we can see if you perhaps are at the right place for the Whole Body Trust program. So I'm going to drop a link to the application. That is an application for a nutrition diagnostic session. I have opened up about 10 slots in my calendar for um, to speak to do these sessions for 10 women so if you believe you need support on this journey you need to up level just complete the application below so you too can have freedom all right so if you found this training helpful please leave a comment below hashtag replay would love that and like this post heart this you know training let others see it it helps everybody um, and just remember once again I'm here to help I'm here to support um, I want every single woman to really just be true to themselves and enjoy their lives. And dieting is just not a part of that. So if you really would like to see how I can help you, the nutrition diagnostic session is your next step. Click the link below to apply for that session. I've opened 10 slots um, and I'm happy to review your application. I will definitely get back in touch with you as far as the details of that session. Amy, have an amazing day. I'll see you later on our Whole Body Trust coaching call with a wonderful group of women and everybody else. Have an amazing day and I will see you all real soon.